Capricorn, this is Renee, and welcome back. Capricorn, uh, this is going to be your you versus them reading, okay? Um, we're going to take a look at your energy. You're gonna, we're going to take a look at your person's energy. And we're going to see where this connection is going, okay? So let's get some energy. We're going to have you on this side and your person on this side. I'm going to use the Spell Crafters Tarot for you. And for your person, I'm going to use the Modern Witches Tarot, okay? So just be um, advised that the... Uh, connection can be reversed. So you can be on this side, you can be on this side. So take it where it resonates, okay? Um, so take it how it feels. Okay, for you Capricorn, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so there may be some family issues or some childhood trauma that you may be dealing with. Okay, let's get a card for your person, for your person's energy. We have trust. The situation is calling you to have faith, okay? So for your person, your person may have some trust issues. Or you may have trust issues in your person, okay? Um... I'm really feeling like there's someone who's gaslighting. There's someone who's trying to manipulate their situation. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. What do we have for Capricorn? Give me a message about this connection. How does Capricorn feel about their person, please? Give me a message. How does Capricorn feel about this person? How does Capricorn feel about this person, please? Okay. The Seven of Cups in reverse. You're confused, Capricorn. You're confused about this person. There's a lot of confusion here. Okay. What are Capricorn's intentions about this connection? What are Capricorn's intentions about this connection? And you still want to work on things. You still want to work it out. Even though there's confusion here, even though there may be some childhood trauma, there may be some things from the past that you're working through, you still want to work things out. You want to work things through, right? Um, where is this connection going with Capricorn and this person? Where is this connection going? Okay, you want a new beginning. You want to start over. You feel very defensive, you know, but you're not willing to give up. You're not willing to back down, okay? You're still standing your ground in this situation. Even though you feel like things may be over, like it's not looking good in the situation, you still love and care about this person. You still care very deeply. You still see this as someone that you really, really admire. You really want to create new things with. You may have children with this person. This may be um, the parent of your children that you're dealing with. You know, but you still value this situation. There's something in this situation that you still value and you're not really ready to let go of. But you feel like this person is leaving you behind. You feel like they're walking away or they're getting ready to walk away. And you feel really left out in the cold. You feel very inconfident when it comes to the situation. You feel like things are just falling apart, right? Like it's just too much to handle. It's just, you know, you feel very overwhelmed. Like there's a lot of burdens, okay? You feel like the love has been lost, okay? You just want this person back. You just want to feel confident in this relationship again. You really care about this person, but you don't know where the relationship is going, 
right? And you're not ready to move on. You're not ready to move on in this situation. Um, and you're not ready to hear them out. You're not ready to take action. You're not ready to hear them out. You just want to be left alone. You, you don't want to communicate. You don't want to take any actions at the moment. Right? But I feel like inside... Internally, you want to create something different, right? But externally, you don't want to move on. You're like moving backwards. You're not ready to take the actions, right? Um, you're not moving forward. So I, I feel like that's where all this confusion lies at. You know, you're kind of caught between this place where you want to work things out, but you're confused about the situation. You just want to start over. You just want to create something brand new, right? But I feel like you're creating. And I really feel like there's a situation to where maybe you're trying to change this person by working this out, right? Right? Um, maybe there's a little bit of gaslighting going um, by either you or this person, right? There's a little manipulation um, on somebody's feelings I'm getting, okay? Somebody's manipulating somebody, okay? Give me a message about Capricorn's person. Tell me about Capricorn's person. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. This person is stuck. They're stuck, Capricorn. They're stuck. They're not able to move forward. They're not able to move back. They're just in this stuck energy waiting for something to happen. Right? Tell me about this person's intentions with Capricorn. What are this person's intentions with Capricorn? We have the sun. This person just wants to be happy, but they feel really stuck at the moment. Um, where is this connection going? Give me a message. Where is this connection going, Spirit? Give me a message for Capricorn. Where is this message going? The two of wands. This person is searching for happiness. You know, they feel like they're in this stuck energy, like there's no place to go. They feel very stuck. Okay. But they're just looking to be happy. They're they're not. This may be a marriage that you're in some kind of tradition you know i feel like this person really feels like walking away um because there's some kind of energy there's some kind of energy that's very manipulative and it it's it feels like chains right it feels like chains binding them and i feel like this person just wants to be free right the queen of wands this this is a free spirit this is having freedom, you know, um, free to take actions, you know, and I feel like with this devil energy right here, this could be your energy Capricorn, um, but I feel like this is like a manipulative energy that this person just wants to walk away from. They don't want this anymore. Right? They just want to leave this energy. Okay? With the death card in reverse, I feel like they're not really sure if they want this to end. But they, they just want to be free. Right? They want to... They want to take action somewhere else right 
There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of pain here. There's someone's going through heartbreak. You know, they're trying to overcome this heartbreak. But I feel like someone doesn't have the answers. They don't feel successful. You know, I feel like someone's deep, deep, deep in their feelings. Someone is very deep in their feelings. Okay. Could be you. Could be your person, Capricorn. Okay. So let's get a message. Give me a message for Capricorn. Where is this connection going? Where is this connection going? Give me an outcome for this connection. Why is the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles here? Why is there confusion? Give me a message. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And the Two of Swords. So... Okay, here's the thing, Capricorn. I feel like, you know, you may have been in this relationship for a while, okay? Um, and I feel like you don't feel as dependent as you should. Um, I feel like this could be a codependent relationship. And I feel like you are not making certain choices. You're not taking the lead here, right? Um... There's some kind of action that you need to take that you're not taking. There's a lot of pinnacles here. So I, I really feel like this is definitely representing your sign, Capricorn. Because the pinnacles are Earth. And that is uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Right? So this is definitely Capricorn energy here. Especially with this King of Pinnacles. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're searching for value in the situation you are willing to work on it but you're not willing to make the healthy choices there's some kind of situation to where you're being a little bit more codependent on maybe this person and uh there's some kind of difficult choice that you need to make that you're not making right tell me about this two of swords energy why is this two of swords energy in reverse why is this Two of Swords energy in reverse? The Seven of Swords. Yeah. There's trust issues. You know? You feel like someone's not telling the truth. I also feel like, you know, there's a lot of guilt and shame in this situation. Right. But you're having trust issues. I feel like that's the reason why this trust is coming up over here. Um, you're not making the important decisions because there's something that you feel is being taken away from you. You know, you, you have a lack of trust when it comes to this person. Right. But this person is in this stuck energy. They're just trying to be happy, you know. Um, but I feel like there's something that you may need to get off of your chest, Capricorn. Either you or this person needs to get this off of your chest because I feel like there's no stability right now. Nothing is stable, okay? It lacks stability and it lacks the right way to go, okay? I feel like something is being very unfair. Something is just not balanced out at the moment. Okay, and I feel like something definitely needs to be balanced and the priorities need to be set, you know. So someone is looking for the answers. We have the Hierophant in, in reverse. So definitely, I feel like, I feel like this, like I said, if this is marriage, if this is someone that you're married to, this could definitely be some kind of marriage ending, Okay, so be advised, Capricorn, this could be something ending for you, right? Um, but I feel like you're deep in thought. You're trying to work this out in your head, and it's just not making sense. It's just not, because you're confused. 
you're thinking about the future on the plans that maybe you're trying to make or you have made and things just they don't add up you know you're not protecting it anymore you're not holding it close you're willing to let it go you know they it may be financial issues in your situation it may be a lack of stability you know uh, a lack of longevity you know the four of pentacles this is long term you know this is something that's been together for a long time but it's also something in, in the upright the four of pentacles is like balance and you know a does a desire to have security for a long-term security you know and you're you don't have that desire you don't have that desire for long-term security you're like waiting for the other shoe to drop right you're you're in this waiting stage where I feel like you're deep in your emotions, but you're you're trying to protect your heart from feeling overburdened, overrun, you know, and you just don't want to be alone. Yeah, I, I feel like you have a fear of being alone. That's the reason why you don't want this to end. You have a fear of being alone. So you rather kind of deal with conflict deal with this situation than to find your own truth okay very deep capricorn very deep okay so let's take a look at your person okay spirit give me a message for capricorn's person where is this situation going give me a message okay we have the eight of swords <clears throat> So this person is very defensive. They're holding themselves back. They're in this blocked energy. Um, they're just stuck at the moment. Look at this. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So this person is really stuck. They're really stuck. Tell me more about this energy. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Capricorn's person? This person is deep in thought as well. And they're also very confused. There's a lot of confusion here. I feel like there's there's a need to communicate, but, you know, nothing's being resolved. There's a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, you know, a lot of things being left unsaid. Something's just not being talked out, okay? And without being talked out, nothing can move. Tell me why the Eight of Swords and Seven of Cups is here. Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Swords and Seven of Cups here for Capricorn's person? The Eight of Pentacles. So we have Eight, Eight. That's the sign of infinity. So we have the Seven of Swords on the bottom. So I feel like they, they're in the same energy as you. You're like mirroring each other, right? You're like mirroring each other, Capricorn, because I feel like this person doesn't trust you. Yeah, we have the death card, the page of wands, the nine of swords, the exact same feelings, and the empress, the ten of wands, and the hierophant in reverse. I'm, I'm not sure if this energy is going to, I'm not sure if it's going to survive because, I mean, you're mirroring each other. This is a totally different deck, but, I mean, it, it's like mirroring the same cards. Tell me why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The Seven of Pentacles. They're wondering if it's worth the fight. They're wondering if all the effort that they're putting into this situation is even worth it. You know, look how she's looking. She's like pissed. And, you know, is this even worth putting more work into or is it just time to give up? Right. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. OK, 
okay? So someone is just not ready to take action. Someone is feeling very unfulfilled. They're, they're someone who's maybe very curious about the other. There's no happiness here, no celebration, no reason for celebration. Someone is just not even healing at the moment. They're just in this stuck energy. This, wow, they're not moving. They're not moving. They're kind of upside down in their feelings. They're not even protecting themselves anymore. They're just raising up their guards. You know, they're raising up their defenses. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Not even wanting to try. Yeah, too many things left unsaid. So something, it, it, it's just not... It's just not trustworthy. You just can't trust it. Okay. Knight of Swords, Two of Swords in reverse. They're not making decisions neither. Uh, Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah. They're just not in this energy to where things are going to work out. Right? Neither one of you are. You're both. You both have the same energy. Right, Capricorn? You both have the same energy. I, I feel like you both want the same thing. You both want to begin again. You both want to find happiness. But I don't feel like... I don't feel like you're secure with this person enough to find happiness with this person. Okay? Look, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah? Yeah? The Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, yeah, the Three of Swords. Yeah, uh, you're not confident enough to move towards this energy. Let's get another deck. Okay, Spirit, give me a message. What is the outcome for the situation with Capricorn and the person? What's the outcome for the situation? Give me a message. Give me a message, please. Please give me a message for Capricorn and their person. The Four of Swords. Working on yourself. The Knight of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. I'm going to get one more. The King of Cups in reverse. For them. The Magician. Okay. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. So I, I, I feel like, Capricorn, I feel like, you know, there may be family. There may be children involved. Um, but with this Six of Cups in reverse, I mean, this is bad memories, right? Um, bad past events, not being able to share your gifts, okay, um, not having a reunion, um, not able to reunite, okay, and I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, there's happiness here, but it feels like it's separate. Yeah, it feels like it's separate. It feels like you're protecting your energy. They're protecting their energy. Um, I feel like you're totally working on yourself. You may be doing inner work. Um, and I feel like there's someone who really wants to get something off of their chest as far as the situation goes. And it's going to make you very discouraged. Um, it's, it also may be very liberating. Um, but I feel like there's something that is just ready to create something different. Okay. Um, it's just ready to create something different. The, the Knight of Swords is actually rushing towards the Four of Swords, which, which means that you're moving towards the energy of just working on yourself. 
you're no longer focused on this energy, Capricorn. So I feel like you're focusing more on your own energy instead of focusing on your person, okay? And your person is creating something different. They're focusing on themselves as well because I feel like they feel like it may not be worth the effort. They're like, you're both in this confusion. You're both in this confusion. You have the Seven of Cups in reverse. They have the Seven of Cups over here, you know. So I feel like there's some kind of illusions. There's some kind of delusion to the situation, okay. So let's get some messages for Capricorn. What does this person want to say to Capricorn that they just can't say or that needs to be revealed? Give me a message for Capricorn, please. Hey, we need to let each other go. I feel you even though we're apart. So there's there's likely a separation between you and this person. Okay. Um, I love you unconditionally. I feel like this person still loves you. They still have a lot of deep feelings for you, Capricorn. Right? Um... We also have, I know I was a distraction to your pain. Okay, so you may have had a breakup before you met this person. Um, or you may have had some kind of painful event before meeting this person. Okay, I'm so attracted to you. I feel like that, that's not the issue. I feel like the, you know, it's not the issue that you're attracted to each other. It's the issue that there's so much confusion, right? Um, we both know I'm not the one for you, okay? So I, I feel like, you know, with this, I'm so attracted to you and I love you unconditionally. I feel like, you know, the desire with this person may be a really on a more sexual level when you try to come together mentally i feel like that's where the problem starts you know because you're trying to connect with each other's emotions instead of on a sexual level and i feel like that's where the situation starts to get you know really complicated because i feel like the the sexual chemistry is really good between you and this person but on a mental level or a uh, emotional level i feel like you're going down two different roads there's a lot of confusion you know you may want one thing and your person may want another right um but i feel like you know you're both trying to go through this emotional um expansion when it comes to dealing with things, you both may be going through a dark night of the soul or you both may be going through some kind of um, changes or transformation. Um, okay, so let's get some more messages for Capricorn. Okay, so we have a lot of ego here with sorry, not sorry. Okay, we have it's time to play more and laugh more, you know, and... We have, I pushed you away. We have someone from a past life, okay? We also have, you are limitless, okay? So we have alignment is needed, okay? It's time to stop before it's too late. We have protect your energy, and we have, I'm crazy. So there, there's someone in... That there's someone in your energy that may be a little bit um, emotionally unstable. Um, we have you already know the answer. So I feel like if there's answers that you need, I feel like you already know where this is going. Um, okay, we have I will talk to you soon. I feel like there is no communication already and you already know the answer. Okay, um, I'm going to give one more. We have, we keep getting, I'm, I'm going to talk to you soon. So I feel like this person is going to open up and communicate. We have, I was wrong. I will talk to you soon again. 
Definitely. I feel like this person is going to communicate very soon. I'm tired of being apart. Okay. I was wrong. So, yeah. And I feel like this person is really trying to communicate with you. Right. Um, but I feel like that communication is being pushed away. I feel like either you or this person pushed someone away. Right. And there's a lot of ego here. Capricorn was sorry, not sorry. There's a lot of ego here. And I feel like there's a need to protect your energy uh, because obviously someone's crazy, right? And you just are trying to be in alignment. You're trying to push through. Okay, give me a timeline. We have two months. So give yourself more love, more self-love once that happens within a year. Okay, so and I feel like, you know, spirit is letting you know that it may be time to focus on yourself for a while. It may be time to become more aligned, you know, um, maybe get out of this stuck energy because, I mean, your, your person is stuck. They're stuck. They're not able to move forward. They're too deep in their emotions. They're too deep in their head to move forward like i said i feel like someone's gaslighting someone's manipulating okay someone's being manipulated okay so someone's trying to put the guilt and shame um to transfer it to the other one okay so let's get an angel message for you okay we have one 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 destiny Follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. Your inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Okay? Your affirmation, life is always happening to me, and I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good. Okay, so that is your affirmation. So Capricorn, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. You can also take a look at your person's placements that may be resonating with you more. And um, until your next reading, love and light.